Hello my friends, how is Brother Ray here? I hope you're doing well and I hope that you're pressing on good and strong in the faith. My friends, there's one thing that we all have in common. We all have trials or troubles, something in our life that can give us discouragement or will try to keep us away from being motivated to trust God. But what does Jesus wants us to do? Or how can we overcome these trials? Is there someone we can trust with our cares, with our struggles. Yes, we can. And look at what this verse says. Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 says, Come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. What burden do you have on your soul today? What struggle are you going through in your life? Jesus wants to give you peace, and he wants to give you rest. Rest that you can be comforted in the time and the struggle that you're going through. I know it may not be easy for you to understand, or it may not even be easy for you to trust God with your situation, but we have to have faith and know that God is able to help us, and that God is able to help us to overcome and able to deliver us from the situation. We gotta believe and know that this God we serve is a grand and magnificent God, a God that loves us and cares for us so much that he wants to help us in our situation. We have to surrender all of our cares and struggles to him. The Bible also says in Psalms 31, 24, the Bible says, Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, and ye that hope in the Lord. God wants to strengthen your heart. You need to be of good courage. Even when things seem like it's going south or going the wrong way for you, even when you feel like there's no hope, God wants you to have courage in him, knowing that he's able to help you. But it doesn't just start with just talking the words. We first have to get to know Jesus as our Savior. We have to understand why He loves us so much. He loves us because He created us in His image. And because He created us in His image, He wants us also to be with Him. This is why He died on the cross for you and me. So what burden in life you want to hold on to and not give it to Jesus? What burden keeps, keep, is keeping you back from coming to the Lord and surrendering yourself to Him? My friends, there's nothing that you have or nothing that you're going through that Jesus can't help you with. But you have to make a decision to bring it to Him. And you have to make a decision that you will trust Him to do the work in you. The Bible also says this in 1 Peter 5, 7. The Bible says, Cast all your cares upon Him, for He careth for you. You have to give it to Him. You can't hold it back. You have to say, Lord, I surrender to you and I'm going to give you my trials. I'm going to give you my cares. Because you said, you said, if I give you my cares, you will help me. You said, if I come unto you, you will give me rest. So you have to be willing and trusting to know that God is able to do what he says. The word of God is powerful. But we have to trust the word of God. That what he says, he is able to do. We see in the storm on the sea, the storm came and Jesus with the word, he said, be still. And the storm was still. The storms in your life, Jesus can come and say, be still to those storms as well. The trials in your life, Jesus can come and say, I will help you to overcome that trial. The sickness in your life, Jesus can come and say, I will heal you from your sickness. Jesus, if you trust and abide in him, he will get you through the storms and through the trials of life. But if not, like the three Hebrew boys said, but if not, we still can trust and love God because we know that His will is being done in our lives. We have to come to the realization to know that whatever is happening in our lives, when we're fully surrendered to Christ, is because He is doing His will in our lives because He wants to save us. And that's the ultimate goal that Jesus has in store. He wants us all to be saved, to be with him in his kingdom. Another verse I'll give you is John 15, 7. The verse says, If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, you shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. You know, when we come and pray to God, we need to ask in faith that God's will be done in our life. That's what we need to ask for. Ask Jesus, ask God to let your will be done in my life. And whatever is his will for our lives, 
if he's doing if he's doing his will in our lives and we're following after him and he's leading and guiding us rest assured that we're in good hands so whatever the struggle whatever the trial whatever the dilemma you're going through if it's his will and he's leading us and we're surrendering to him we are okay because we will have peace in the troubles so I want you to be of good courage and I want you to bring all your troubles and all your cares to Jesus and walk in faith knowing that his will is being done in your life because at the end of the day the only thing that matters is nothing in this world the only thing that matters is when you stand in front of Jesus on that final day and he says well done good and faithful servant Surrender your life to Jesus. Surrender your cares, your troubles, surrender your sickness, your financial problems, and your burdens to Jesus today. And rest assured and have faith that he's able to help you and to deliver you. Because from the beginning to the end, from everlasting to everlasting, God is always good. Until the next time, this is Brother Ray. Be of good courage and know that God wants his will to be done in your life. Bye-bye.